friends, I'm so glad you could join me today. In Friday's Fun Fold card, we made a W fold, accordion fold, Z fold card. So, and I had promised that we would come together on Tuesday and we'd make it all pretty. And I'm going to be featuring a new stamp and die set that Stamping Up just launched on March 1st. It's called Irresistible Blooms. It is so pretty. I can hardly wait to show you. And with that, there are other exclusive products that Stamping Up launched on March 1st as well. They're online exclusives, so you won't find them in any catalog. So let's turn the camera down and we'll get started. This is the new suite that I was talking about. It's called Irresistible Blooms. And when you purchase the suite, you get the stamp set, the dies, 6x6 designer series paper, which is a pack of 48 sheets, and the loose frosted dots. Now, one thing to mention is that the dots are not adhesive backed. So you could use them in a shaker card as well, which is nice. Or you can add um, glue dots to the back, which is what I will be doing so that they can stick to your project. Another product that they recently launched on March 1st is the naturally gilded 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper. And this comes in three shades in gold, copper, and silver. And that's in a pack of six sheets. The other product is the basic 3D embossing folders, which come in a pack of three, and the classic letter stamp set. And there are 59 photopolymer stamps in that set. So really nice products. And they are available now. They became available on March 1st. But as a demonstrator, I was able to purchase the suite on February 1st so that I can bring you nice cards to show you and share with you. So let me just show you some of the papers that come in the um, Irresistible Blooms pack. Really pretty. Really pretty papers. We've got some flowers, some... Um, plaids, this pretty little design here, leaves. These flowers here will cut with the die set that's um, also with the set. And it also cuts out, there's a die that cuts out the leaves as well. Some pretty, these, isn't this beautiful? More leaves. This I really love. One fun thing to note about this um, suite is that a retired ink color, um, Pretty Peacock, is coming back. So happy about that. Some more. I believe it'll also cut these flowers out. Leaves, and then some more leaves. And of course, they're backsided. So they have more um, geometric kind of like, you know, water washed, uh, painted type of images. Really pretty though. You can, you know, the both sides are just gorgeous. And these are the loose frosted dots and they come in three colors, three different sizes. We have your pretty peacock, your daffodil delight, and flirty flamingo. Our stamp set, irresistible blooms, and the die set that coordinates. And I already took some of the stamps out, but some nice sentiments on here. Thank you, hello, hooray, it's your day. A sentiment that you could put on the inside, I like you, really pretty. All right, so. We are going to be making the double Z fold, accordion fold, W fold, call it what you want. But we did this on Friday, so now we're going to do the fun part and we're going to use pretty papers and decorative papers and decorate it and make it all look nice. I've gone ahead and cut most of the pieces already. I have my card base, which is cut at five and a half by 11 inches. 
So a little different sizing than our normal A2 size card base. However, it does fit into an A2 size envelope. Then I've already gone ahead and scored this. We have it at one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven inches. And if you want more information on that, you can check out the video that I posted on Friday and it'll have all the dimensions and um, cutting information. I'm gonna burnish these. I'm gonna give them a good crease. And this is a little bulkier, bulkier, so you will need additional postage to mail this. Or you can hand deliver it and save on postage. All right, so we got that done. Now, one of the things I had promised you is that I wanted to try to cut the, so this piece is a little bit bigger than three by six. It actually measures three by, um, I'm sorry, three and a half by six and one eighth. So my thought process was I wanted to have like a stitch stitching around the edge of this sheet here that will be <clears throat> this part right here. So I wanted to have a little stitching around, just a little something different, you know? So what I did is I took my recta rectangle stitch dies, and I believe it was the, either this one, this third one, I think it's the third one. Yes, okay. So it's the third largest one. I'm gonna bring my <clears throat> stamp and cut and emboss machine in. And what I wanna do is, so you'll notice that my piece has to be three by six inches. The die is only three by four and a half inches. So we need to make this longer. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna position this here. <clears throat> I'm going to put it on. Normally I would put the this sort of straight edge on an angle, but because I need to see where I'm cutting it, at where I'm going to the edge here, I need to do it this way, straight in, so you'll feel the bumps. Now, to do a partial die cut, you wanna position your die, the top plate, so that it's not cutting the rest of the card. And then just let it engage and run it through. So now I have a partial die cut here, and then I'm going to turn this around and fit this to the edge. And I'll feel the stitching on the um, paper. It'll kind of like grab, and then you'll know you're, that you're in the right place. Again. I'm going to offset this, so we're going to send, put that third plate up on top here. I just want to make sure that I'm cutting enough. Yes. Oops. I don't need that piece in here. And then just send it through again. And from this short die, right, you get this shorter die, you get this longer piece. So now we've got the size that we need. Put this aside. Trash. Now I can score this. And the short measures three by six. 
Well, it's a little bit shorter, so I think I need two. So the piece that you want should be three by six, and then you'll score it in the middle at three inches. Because, actually, you know what? Rather than doing that, let's just fold it in half. And what I like about the trimmer here, I don't know if you can see me, but it has this, rather than using the score blade, I'm using the edge of the trimmer here to give me an equal spacing. All right, and we will burnish that. And use a piece of scrap paper to brush that. All right, so there we go. We got the nice little edge, and we've got this piece here. I'll put this away. Let's start putting this together. Right, so we have three pieces here that measure one and a half by five and a quarter inches. And I could use either side, but I'm going to use this side, a little subtler pattern. And I'm going to do one here, here, and here. On my sample, I had also done a fourth here, but on this one, I chose not to. Add some glue to the back. I could also add an additional cardstock behind the designer series paper. And that would be just a quarter inch, I'm sorry, an eighth of an inch bigger. So instead of one and a half inches, it would be one and five eighths inches by five and three-eighths inches for your layering piece. Just make sure you line up top and bottom like so. Now we can put these little squares on here. I'm going to switch these around. This one here and this one here. And these squares measure two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So you'll have a little border all around. That's that. And now so you'll notice that I did cut a piece out of here. I cut the this one designer series paper from the center here and I used the largest of the stylus shaped dies to cut that out. Again I wanted a little border a little stitching around. So hopefully you can see that. And I'm not worried about the center because I'm going to drop the um, white cardstock in there after we do a little stamping. Set, set that aside. And let's do some stamping. Now I'm trying to take this piece out so that we can do this at the same time. We'll die cut both pieces at the same time. So I'm just going to lay my square die that I'm going to use to cut just so I know where I need to go with my greeting. Hopefully it's not too big. It's a little big. I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to take that out.
And I'm going to come a little further up on this so then I have some place to sign my name. Oh, good. <clears throat> Next, I want to stamp on this one here. We're going to stamp hello. And I'm going to do it again in Pretty Peacock. So as I said, this is, I believe that's going to be one of the new ink colors, which will launch in the beginning of May. Good. All right, we are done with this for the moment. Close that up. I think I can fit these through my mini cut and emboss. Love this little machine. Very handy. I'll put the other one up top here. Now, the one thing you'll notice with the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine is that you have to offset the top and the second plate. And this seems to have moved a little off the plate. You know, let's just do it separate. Sometimes it's just easier to do it separate. That was the stylish shape dies. I'm going to put this one back as well. So this piece here, we're just going to drop it right in the middle here, and it fits perfectly. So we're just going to adhere that. I hope you're enjoying my Fun Fold Fridays. And uh, be sure to share those with your other crafting friends. There we go. All right. So we have, and I've already gone ahead and stamped and die cut this image. So now comes the fun part. I need to adhere this piece to the front and third panel. So it's going to be like that. I want to make sure that I'm covering up the white. So what I like to do, there's two ways to do this. I find it easier to do it this way. So I have it all completely closed. I'm holding it down. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the right side. And then I'm going to close it. Hold it down, and I'll open it and do the same thing on the other side. Just a little bit on the edge, a little triangle. Now we'll close that down here. I find that that's the easiest way for me to get it straight. No fussing. There you go. All right, let's decorate the front. I think I can close the glue for a minute. Put this over here. We'll use dimensionals on that, and then we'll use some dimensionals on this. Or should I lay it flat? I think we'll lay the banner flat. See where I want to put the flower first. And then we will, whoops, don't want to put that upside down. Almost did that. Right 
there, lift that up. And we'll add some dimensionals to the back. Might take your pick tool. So I like to use my take your pick tool just to take the backings off and I can grab a few at a time. Let's see if I can grab all six of them. Yes, some. I'll put that right here on the front. Beautiful. And then we will add our dimensional, not our dimensionals, our, um, I did want to do one more thing. Let's hang on a second. There's this little splatter from the stamp set. I love splatter. It just adds a little more. So I just want to do that on the corner here. Just lightly. And we'll do some up in this corner here. Just like so. Now what I could have done, and I didn't think about it until now is I could have done the splatter on this panel here. You know what? Let's try that. I don't think you'll be able to see it on the pretty peacock too much because it's darker. I will put a scrap paper here on this side. So it's not picking up on that side there. That, and a little bit more over here. Perfect. All right. Problem solved. Let's add those little dots. I'll get a get my take your pick tool here at the putty end. And I'm going to put the glue dot down first. I think that would make it easier rather than fighting with the other way. These are really great. I love these. They're from the paper pumpkin packs so I saved them because you never use that many of them plus typically I'll use the glue this is just great for people who don't have all the product so when you're buying the kits they come with these um, glue dots I think I want to add another one well, you know let's see what it looks like first right before we go a little too crazy, now how I take them off is I just kind of dig my nail into and then just slide them off the backings. And I find the backings all over the place. So we're going to put one there. I'll pick up a smaller one and put it over here. So I think I'll do a yellow one here. Daffodil Delight. So I picked up the wrong color. There we go. Oh, picked up too many of them. I think that's good. I don't think we need to add any more here. So fairly quick and easy card. I love how it turned out. It's beautiful. And then you don't see the sentiment here 
on the inside and you have a little spot to sign your name. You can also add a piece of basic white to the back if you like to write more. That would be a three and three quarter by five and a quarter inch piece. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give me a like on um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Take care, make those cards and send them out. Bye-bye. Thank you.